So we're back in the bathroom, more work. We've got most of the plaster board up now. There's just this last wall that we need to get sorted and to get the obviously shower enclosed really. So we need to build a frame around here. I'm just going to use some wood. Um, I think three by two, we're just going to use just to box this in around here. Once that's done, we can get all of the pipe work in for the back of the shower control unit. Get the plaster ball done, and then I shall be at a gear near and crack on with the tape and enjoy it, which is good. But first of all, obviously, to get this on, all we need to do is get onto the plaster board. <clears throat> so we're using these. Brilliant little anchor things, aren't we, Mum? Yeah, they're tremendous. Really good. So, you can see them. Obviously, that goes into the plasterboard, and you've got a tool that pulls it tight mm -hmm. against the plasterboard, and then obviously, your screw goes in, and it's a proper anchor into it. Brilliant, yeah. Instead of trying to go through the plasterboard and the stone, yeah. uh, they're tremendous. We've used them on all sorts of things, and they take some weight, so they're, they're absolutely fine, aren't they? Yeah, this is literally just. Mm -hmm. It's it's not yep. taking any weight. No. This is just purely just to stop it from shifting. Really, yeah. We've got four down the wall, so we've got all them in already. Mm -hmm. Because we've got the insulated plasterboard, that's why we're using these because we've already got like forty mil insulation behind there. So to get into the stone, we'd have to have screws about that long. <laughs> so on them left. <laughs> we'll crack on with this now. Get this on, and then we're going to work our way around, mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll be able to have the shower and close by the end of today. Good. So we'll crack on down. Okay.
And that's the shower cubicle built. Brilliant. Obviously it's nice and sturdy now. Um, all boxed off, ready for the plasterboard. So next job that we can crack on with is just getting all of the hydro board inside the shower. And then after that, we'll be putting a waterproof membrane on. So we just need to get that on first, work out where we're putting the um, mixer valve unit for the actual shower and where the outlets are going to go. And then once that's done, all of this plasterboard can be fitted in place and put the membrane on and ready for tiling. But while I was at it, obviously, because it wasn't going to be too much of an extra job, um, I decided to make a, just a little sort of cubby hole. Um, it's only like so deep, but just so you can put like shower gels or shampoos or stuff like that. So if, obviously people that are staying here bring their own stuff, then at least they've got somewhere to actually place them rather than popping them on the floor or having like some sort of like stick on unit, which is going to take up more space. So it's good just planning these things in ahead while we're, we're actually doing them, to be honest. So we've placed a little sink in, just so we can get an idea of where it's going to sit. It's going to fit there nicely, and then we'll have the toilet the other side. And yeah, it's going to look brilliant. Except we can crack on now getting the plasterboard on, getting the rest of the insulated plasterboard on. And then almost, we'll have a room, which is good. Yeah, we'll crack on now.
So we're really getting somewhere with the uh, bathroom in the 400 suite now. It's been so long, this has just been a room that's been, just, we've had to leave it. We've not been able to get on with it. We've not been able to get on with the work. And it's, it's, I think we've kind of put it off because there was so much work to do. But as you can see, we have a bathroom, it's a room again. It's not just brick walls and we've got plasterboard up. So we've done a few different things in here. So you'll see there's different types of plasterboard up and, and the different jobs that we've done. So this is where the shower is going to be going. So this is where we've used hydroboard. And the reason we've used hydroboard is this is where water's going to be, could get into direct contact and obviously we don't have the plaster blowing on it. So we've still got a waterproof membrane to put in here and then we will be tiling this as well. So it is going to be waterproofed. It's a good job done. Next job now is to get in tape and joint this area and um, get it all done, all smoothed off so we can start actually looking to get some painting. We've got the rest of the room still to plaster and tape and joint, which is yeah going to be fun to do. Um, we've got the venting. A lot of you asked the other day why we've put a big hole in the wall, but for seemed like no reason. But it's to put an extractor fan in to, to actually pull the, the, the moist air out of the room so that we don't get a moist build up and get mould in here as well. Um, and we've got lots going on this week now. Um, we've got people over from America, um, but Shane back coming to actually get work on the garden done and it's going to be so exciting so I hope you can tune in for us to see the next videos because it's really going to start moving along in here now we're really moving ahead at pace exciting project that we're going to be really cracking on with and moving forward with so hope you can join us for that and we will see you in the next video if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.